When we think of a particle, when we think of something in the field, we're actually looking at the field itself in a denser form or at a different dynamic than what we call the space between the things. But the things are made of that space anyway. Actually, what we call space is full of these fluctuating energy dynamics. And these fluctuating energy dynamics organize in very local region and may look like a subatomic particle or an atom or a star or a galaxy or a universe. We could think of a galaxy being a hurricane that's a function of a gradient in the structure of space-time itself so that the dynamic that we see is actually in the space and because there's stuff in it we see it you know this is a source from which the energy emerge in our reality in which we experience a magnetic field and when we move that magnetic field relative to another, we experience an electric component. We use it every day. <laughs> Would be nice to know where it came from. Some of the interesting parts in planetary science is that we have, you know, planetary systems like Jupiter and Saturn that emit significantly more energy than it receives from the sun. Yet, we know for a fact from experience and history that most greatest discovery occurred because somebody had a gut feeling. And this is always the start of anything we've ever done because somebody had to imagine it, somebody had to come up with it before it was a thing. Since the universe is continuously learning through all these points of learning structure in the little dots everywhere in the universe, you're continuously learning and you're part of informing the universe. And the universe is definitely part of informing you. Like you might have noticed, I have a little bit of a black eye right now because I was informed by the universe that if my surfboard was in this specific region of a wave, the surfboard was most likely going to have an electromagnetic interaction with my face. <laughs> <laughs>